Good morning. Today is August 22nd, 2022. And this is a game. Uh, an interesting game. And as you know, I like having fun games. That means make some kind of offbeat move somewhere in the middle of the game. This is the game where I made an offbeat move in the beginning of the game. So let's start doing it. And yes, I made a blunder here, but I made two great moves, so let's go. And as you can see, I pretty much just fake it. Uh, all the squares. So, castling over here is probably a bad move. Probably. And of course, I just castled there. Uh, right. Right on the, you know, thread over there. So, interesting move. Interesting move. So, this is, of course, uh, over here is a blunder and yep just give up a piece over there so anyway where was I? so castle and then yeah, castle and then oops okay and then move that check of course check So far, good moves. And that's question smart. Uh, let's see if I can do better. In fact, that opens up the, the whole thing over here, and that is a good move. And that's a blunder. Just give up a piece. And I'm kind of curious to how it goes. Oh, there we go, of course. Fortunately, Black did not realize that, so... <coughs> so, it's good. <laughs> yep, didn't realize that, so... Managed to protect the pawn there, and there you go. That's not that idea. Let's see what's hmm. I don't know. I mean, this looks like a free pawn over there, so I, I can see. Oops. Uh, so I can see why black is tempted to take that one. And let's see. Pretty much just give up on the pawn there. And this pawn is in danger. So And I know the idea is basically taking that, so I have to be careful about that. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, except other uh, lost opportunity over there. So. And black seems to win a lot, so. The knight pretty much just stick with this thing over here, so, I don't know. Lots of questionable moves here, right? Uh -huh. So, yeah, uh, a lot of things, a lot of times, basically just 
there's nothing there's no good move over there but that's good move and that's good move not a questionable move but I can see why it's threatening the rook over there so that's why it does it and in fact it missed this little thing over here so you can tell uh, pretty much threaten this one, threaten this one, and threaten this one. Three threats, triple threat, which is which is how I like it. So now uh, this one says miss better with two material. I certainly hope it doesn't mean that one because if it does, I'm going to be disappointed. Ah, it does so. Disappointed. This one, you see, it's like very close to the king and it's more fun. Next move. And yep, see, uh, when the rook moves there, it misses the point that it's connected over there with the queen, so that's attacking very very strongly so if the knight had attacked that one then the rook would have gone that one and uh, queen rook connected that's bad for me so I don't know why the computer uh, does it like that next move and again miss just to win a material I just don't see it though. <laughs> uh, now let's see where was it? this one. Just a pawn. Hmm. Well, nope. This one is more interesting. Because you can tell it's uh, attacking the queen like that. Now, of course, uh, the bishop is taking that one over there. But, like I said, this is more fun. Uh, so, the knight cannot take the rook no, because the queen is in danger. So, next move. And there you go. That's a mistake. And... I know where the mistake is because the pawn structure here is uh, in white, right, in light colored square. And the knight over here is very strong, but it just give it, uh, give me the chance to take it. So, yes, I'll take it. And you can see the evaluation here 3.88, very strong. This is good for me because this piece of for here is going to be totally useless it's not going to do anything in the next few moves and I have uh, an extra rook pretty much basically I have an extra rook because this bishop is totally useless all right next move this is just uh, to avoid any nasty surprise, just in case the queen decides to check, make a surprise check. But otherwise, uh, it's a waiting move. And you can tell, you can tell that what I want to do is I want to do basically secure all the squares over here, and kick the queen out. I think I made a mistake here somewhere. The computer doesn't say it, but I could have done better this one right here. Next move. And that's uh, offering a trade of queen. Yeah, the, the bishop is going to be totally useless anyway, so let's do it. And now the rook is going to lock in this square because it's trying to cut this pawn. The king, 
it's also gonna lock over there because it's trying to guard this point. So this is very strong. And that's it. Uh, the bishop's just gonna pretty much go back and forth over here because again <coughs> the structure here is very strong. So the bishop's gonna be locked over here. The rook and the king's gonna be locked over there, and that gives me freedom to move. I have great initiative over here. And oh, by the way, here I have a choice. Do I want to liquidate the position over here, or do I want to basically lock the position? And I just to lock the position. And remember, the king cannot lift this square over here. So. And uh, the only move and works well, it's not hard to find, so. And you can tell, basically, that, yes, uh, the king just take a long way out uh, over here, basically. King just take a long way out, and there's nothing black can do. Black, basically, is just stuck there. Next move. And this is interesting. If I want to, uh, I can move the king over here to this square. So, uh, and there's nothing that can do. And the rook will have to go back there because he wants to cut this part over here. So, if I want to, I can do it that way. Now, and this is very interesting. Uh, like I said, I can move the king here and take that, that pawn easily. But uh, I noticed the pattern here and I decided to do uh, something about this pawn over here. And there you go. You can tell I have a best pawn. Uh, in the meantime, the king is locked here, here, here. Once the king move here, that's it. It's done. So next move, and that's in case you want to trade over here. If the pawn trade takes and pawn trade. So that locks that side. And sure enough, I win. Because there's no way you can stop this from uh, promotion. And you can tell if we here, made in five. So, yes, no, no, no big deal. And there you go. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow.